South African wines are high-quality, well-priced products, but they have an image problem overseas to the detriment of the local industry. Bulk exports are perceived as low-quality products. And most winemakers make an average 2% return on their investment, which is too low to be sustainable. The reality is that there's still a lot of bulk exports going out of the country and the supermarkets and retailers internationally are pushing down the prices of these bulk wines. And this has a direct effect on the perception that the, uh, the consumers have on South African wine, which inevitably will, uh, you know, it, it breaks down brand South Africa as a whole. Cape Town's Vinpro Winemakers Association is reporting that around 40% of its 3,200 members are loss making and 900 have closed shop already. Producers are also sensitive to currency fluctuations as their prices are set according to the South African hard currency exchange rate. We need to get producers to recognize that they need to set their price and fix their price in a rand value. And no matter whether the rand is weak or strong, they need to stick with us. Um, so from a, a global market impact, that will make a big difference. They need to set their price. And also a lot of these guys are very shy to put up their prices. They're afraid of losing out of market share if they were to increase their prices by a mere little bit. The industry employs 300,000 people and in 2015 contributed nearly $2.8 billion to the country's GDP. South Africa currently exports around 60% of its wine as bulk and in more traditional markets that's often perceived as cheap wine. But it has found fertile ground in some new markets. We work in two spaces. One, how do we, have we we've targeted markets, specifically China and specifically uh, Africa, Angola as a, as a test bed. Um, and we, we're doing incredibly well in those two markets. Um, but the other role that we've got to be doing is creating better value. You know, uh, uh, and I'm talking about price point per bottle um, as opposed to bulk. So we've got a, st a strategy to say how do we rather export only 40% of our wine in bulk. Of course, this solution could lead to job losses, especially if more winemakers to throw in the towel. However, many in the industry are optimistic the situation can be corrected sooner rather than later. That was Andrew, CGTN, Cape Town.